Moving on to the mini roundabout design and using my predefined zoom views, I now go to junctions, add mini roundabout. Reading my prompt, I indicate the first intersecting road, indicate my main road, and if I wanted to have a three-way roundabout, I could press escape. In this case, I'm then include the northern road as well. Civil Designer populates which roads we're working with. If you wanted to go and make changes to that, you could go and graphically indicate a different road. You can see we're doing a four-way roundabout design. And then we've got options of crossfall. Using my mouse wheel, I can go and browse through the different options. And if you look at the diagram on the bottom right-hand side, it gives me a preview of what crossfall options are available. In this example, I'm going to go and use the draped option where the circle will be draped onto the main road's crosswall. You have the option of applying the curb to the inside circle. Looking at the diagram, you need to go and specify your radius and your lane width. This is important because that determines your bow mouth radius. Alternatively, you can go and specify a minimum bow mouth radius. Specify your crossfall and your coordination interval. We also give you the option to go and put in a center island. And those would be the islands indicated on the diagram. If you go and click on that, you could go and specify what dimensions to use. Alternatively, again, you could pick it up from CAD, as I showed you in my previous examples. You could go and save this and load it at a later stage. I've got an i7 PC, 8th generation, 2.2 gigahertz, 8 gig of RAM, 